Well, yesterday we shared with you how scientists in Hawaiian waters are studying these whales using special tags. Today we see how aerial photography is providing not just incredible views, but greater insight into some of the behaviors these incredible mammals have learned themselves and are now sharing with one another. As they do every year from November through April, the humpbacks pass through our Hawaiian waters is part of a near 6,000 mile round trip migration from Alaska where they feed to Hawaii where they breed and the females give birth. Right now we only get a snapshot three month window uh, of a year of the whale, right? For those who study the mammals, the opportunity to conduct up close research is vital, but also heavily monitored. To be able to do what we're doing here, we have to go through quite a rigorous process uh, of permitting, and we can only approach a given individual three times to try to get that suction cup tag on. Thank you, guys. Oh, Time. Once successfully attached, the tags provide incredible and invaluable information, as well as a high-definition glimpse into their behaviors and interactions underwater. The tagging of the whales is just one component of the research. Another critical element is the information gathered by drones. Take off. Joining the trio of scientists working to tag the giant mammals on the water is another team of grad students from the University of Hawaii's Marine Mammal Research Program working in tandem above. We can record high-resolution footage, and from that we can measure the, the total length of the whale, as well as the widths along 20 different points along the body. The images from both above and below the water allow the researchers to locate and track the exact same animal on each end of their journey. And therefore we can really say something about the full life cycle of these animals. Andy Zabo is seeing how the humpbacks interact here for the first time. He spent the last 25 years monitoring their activity in Alaska, where they spend most of their time eating, gathering strength needed for the long trip here. The quality of the food source in Alaska determines how successful the mating season will end up being. Every year we get about 10,000 humpback whales to come to the Hawaiian uh, Islands. And this year it looks pretty healthy as far as we can see right now. And now researchers have discovered the whales have taken their feeding habits to a new level, blowing circles of bubble nets to trap their prey. This bubble netting behavior we see in Alaska, which is really a form of tool use, if they're feeding on krill, they'll, they'll blow these nets that are these sort of concentric circles that are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. They're containing and concentrating the krill. And so they have to be able to coordinate and communicate to do all this. It's a very complex behavior. It's amazing. Amazing is a word used often when studying these whales. And with every migration, every tag, and every drone flight, more information is learned, and more is passed on to the next generation of their protectors. I normally study spinner dolphins. This is my first time working out here with whales, and it's a great experience. It's really what any little girl growing up wanting to study dolphins would dream of. I've never had the experience of being on the breeding grounds and seeing the amazing behaviors we're able to see out here. It's pretty incredible and all these mother calf pairs and we're lucky to be here. Sharing this information and being able to, to teach every, everything that we've learned is really important um, and it allows us to keep this momentum up into the future to get these long-term data sets and just really make the most of what we're doing so we can help the animals as best we can. So amazing, so beautiful, and again, thanks to the entire team and those last three that you just heard of are all grad students and again, the next generation of protectors and Lars Beider, who heads up the program for the Mammal Research Division here, saying he gets 50 to 100 emails and phone calls every week from students around the world wanting to be a part of the team, and you can see why. He says it's all about science and mathematics and coding and learning how to put this uh, information together. That's what they're looking for, so if this is a career for you. Not easy to get in, but great to do it here in Hawaii.